Hey guys, welcome back to Sweden, Stockholm. Here I am, back in my my little office space. It's been three months, maybe. I was home one day last week, oh, even further back, to do the packing before I went to France. But now I'm back permanently in the office. Feels great. It also feels weird. I have tons of mixed feelings about this, but mostly I'm uh, preparing myself mentally to start my new work as a technician consultant uh, start starting next week. But today actually is a big uh, company kickoff party, the yearly one. And it's a bit weird to go to party before you have actually started to work. And yeah, I am kind of... It suits very well with this weekly challenge. Pushing myself out of my comfort zone and social context. Failing a little bit. This is the part where I'm, I'm struggling with today. I feel like, ooh, it's a big party. I'm gonna meet all my future new colleagues. It's so important. A lot of things can happen. The first impression is the one you gotta be careful about. I know all those kinds of things. But still, I feel... I feel this really isn't the day that I was meant to do this. I feel a little bit of anxiety. I feel that I really, really don't want to do this. I so don't want to do this today. I'm just not in the mood for it. Or, or, that is exactly the kind of emotions you get when you're about to push yourself out of that goddamn comfort zone. Because, yeah, it scratches inside my body. I just, I just feel uncomfortable about the whole thing. Kind of, I don't know, it feels big, it feels important, and on the same time I have this other persona in me that looks at this objectively, that, that sees this as a, a good practice opportunity, great fun, meet a lot of new people, and it can only, it's a win-win. I get to practice, I get to have fun, I get to tell stories learn about myself, get to know other people. Maybe I, I will meet the most amazing people ever today. And it's that person I need to listen to. But that is so hard when those anxious feelings grabs hold of you when you're about to go out of your comfort zone, which I am about to do. But I have to, I have to make sure to hold on to this objective person of me that sees the, the good in this opportunity that sees all of the great things that can come out of this. And it is a struggle. So when I have these kinds of days, when there's a, a particular big event coming up, I make sure to do some, some, I have some routines to really, to really, uh, to really listen to that person. And what I do is I listen to a lot of different uh, <laughs> motivational videos I have a few ones that are my favorite ones I always always make sure to get a good workout in which I just just pulled off it's a bit sweaty here but that that the workout just changes your mood so much that's a must do so motivational videos workout I listen to some good pump pump, pump. Pump it up music that makes me in a good mood. I have a playlist that just that just sets me up for a great mental state. I make sure I eat good healthy food that will that will last, that will give me energy, that that will make sure that I won't crash due to lacking energy because I haven't eaten enough. I make sure I get the proper amount of sleep. I make sure, make sure that I have all things in order. I have put my clothes up. 
I've shaved. I've thought out all the things that I need to do and I make sure to have time enough to do all those things because the last thing I need when I'm about to do something that would stress me, that might stress me, is to not add extra stress to that. That's the last thing I need. I don't want to stress out about what kind of clothes I have when that's just a minor detail that I could have taken care of before the actual event. So I make all that kinds, all those actions that are able to do in, in, when I have enough time, I make sure to do them before so it doesn't affect the actual event that actually contains a whole lot of stress racing things on its own. I don't want to add extra things that necessarily doesn't have to be there to that. So those are the things. And also I'm gonna do some uh, brief meditation practice. Like five, ten minutes, just sit, calm myself down, do some breathing exercises. And then I'm freaking ready to do this. <sighs> See, I'm getting pumped up now. This will be a great day. I'm gonna meet a lot of new friends, people, co-workers. And even, hey, even if it goes to hell, if I make a complete fool out of myself, I feel confident enough in myself right now that the people that are, I don't know yet, even though I might be working with them, I know I will always be okay. If it all goes to hell, hey, I can always quit that job and do my own thing. Run my company with my dad, which I'm doing simultaneously. I have tons of different other, other ideas. I have a backup plan. This isn't the end of the world to me. If, and I say, if everything goes to hell, if I burn, <laughs> the whole place to the ground, I will be, be okay anyways. And that is a mindset that cools me down. I have nothing to lose here. It's a goddamn win-win. And now I'm gonna do the last thing I forgot to tell you about. The ice cold shower that really wakes you up, which I do daily and which is a must do when I'm doing a big event, social interactions, whatever, when I just want to wake up and put myself in the right mindset, turn the knob to ice cold and yes, do it. I'm gonna have a great night. I'm hoping you are pushing yourself out of your comfort zone today too, because that is what you need to do to get into that new state when you learn things, when you get to practice skills, when you get to improve and when you get to be the person you want to be when you get one step closer to perfection this is alex signing out bye friends Now, I'm ready for anything. <laughs>